welcome to part two of my marathon vlog series. I'm running the New York City Marathon, and so I'm answering all your questions in this episode. I'm gonna be talking about my actual training plan in a couple episodes later. For now, it's all about the Q&A and what you are after. Welcome to running. So I'm training five days a week with two rest days, but of those rest days, there are active recovery. So plenty of foam rolling, plenty of stretching. It's super important that your recovery is more important than your actual activity. Well, everybody's naturally different, but for me, if I set myself a goal or an achievement or a task, it makes me more motivated to train for it. So by you know committing to the New York City Marathon and you know, telling you guys about it. Obviously, I've got to run 42 kilometers or 26.7 miles, so I better train for it. That's that's how I do it. And for my activity in general, I'm very much a person who loves to sweat for the mindfulness and the uh, you know the, the steadiness that allows me to focus on my day at hand. That's why I train. But for something specific like this, to get into running, set yourself a goal. Set yourself a five kilometer, maybe a 10 mile, something simple. Get into it, and you never know what it may lead to in other activities of your day. Definitely on a bridge or along the riverside. It is one of the best feelings having a sunrise or sunset overlooking Williamsburg, Brooklyn, or the Manhattan Bridge. For me, it is one of the best sights of the whole city. So, I love to listen to music, but on my run, sometimes they're long enough that you can actually listen to a whole podcast or global news. I love to learn. So, if it's not an NPR podcast, it could be a Tim Ferriss podcast, Anything that I'm going to actually learn or benefit from, if I just don't want to listen to anything that's learned, throw in some epic sing-along beats. I could not think of anything worse than running on a treadmill. Think about it, why would you want to look at the same wall for 42 kilometers or 26.7 miles for that matter? I much prefer to be outside, fresh air, and you get distracted by amazing sights, different things you may have not seen before, or new things that revolutionize your thought what you can see every single day. It is super important to have the right shoe that fits for you. For me, I have a shoe that's gonna last me the 20 plus kilometers or you know, 10 plus miles that's gonna look after my feet. Just think about it, you're pounding the pavement for a very long time. It's super important that the first thing of your body that touches the ground, which obviously then is the catalyst for everything else in your body, is working efficiently and allowing your foot to not only perform right, but prevent injury. So, I have my amazing Under Armour shoes that are designed for a long distance run. Now obviously, any shoe wear has three different types, or many different types for that matter, of shoe. For me, I've gone with an Under Armour shoe that is long distance and prepared for allowing my body and the joints to last the long distance. So when it comes to stretching, I don't do it before I run. I actually get into a run for about, you know, 800 meters or just under half a mile. And for me, that is perfect because what it does is allow my blood to flow to the joints and then I stretch. It's uh, the best way to get the benefit out of a stretch. When it comes to post, I definitely stretch afterwards. But in terms of recovery in general, that's a whole other question I have to answer. Recovery, it's the most important part. It's even more important than the actual training. You need to allow your body to rest. You also need to stretch it down. Because not only is it gonna help you with your benefits of the performance, it's also gonna help prevent injury. And if you think about it, you may do a run, or a major run, once a year, twice a year, but you have the rest of your life to take care of your body. So, super important to foam roll, stretch, ice, and completely rest. And because you are pounding the pavement consistently for over three hours, or even if you're doing a shorter run, an hour, 30 minutes, whatever it is, you need to recover, allowing your body completely to rest. Well, you definitely need both. You need a long distance race, you also need a pace to van, you also need to work on your tempo. So we're gonna be talking about more of this in episode four, but it's really important to have a mixture of everything because not only do you need to train all forms of your energy systems, there's three of them, but also you need to work on your different muscle types as well. Um, 
Hydration is a part of recovery, so it is just as important as we talked about before. And it's not something you just work on on the day. This is something you work on two months leading into your marathon. You need to be doing about three to five liters almost every day. You need to be thinking you need to go to the toilet six to eight times a day as well. So if you're not, you are dehydrated. Because you remember, hydration is how you prevent injury. It's how you maintain the right blood volume. It's just important because you are gonna be expelling a lot, a lot of water throughout your run. And it's happening before you even start. My biggest advice is you're always competing with yourself. Don't worry about the next person next to you. Don't worry about the fact if you're running five meters, 10 kilometers, or a marathon. It's always up to whatever you are setting your own task for. That's the next thing. Always make sure that if you are setting a task, make it achievable, make it something within your realms, but don't be afraid to push yourself. At the end of the day, those who want to get up every day and compete, those whether it be for your work, for your family, or for exercise, always comes down to you. No one else is gonna do it apart from you. You can't tell someone else to train for you, you have to do it for yourself. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you stay tuned and always watch back to episode one of my marathon vlog series. There's more to come, we've got a few more episodes in this as well. Thank you for all your questions and if you have any more, reach out to me on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. I'm DC, stay subscribed and I'll check you soon my friends. Bye! Yo.